the students certainly know what's at stake. Trinity Middletown District 4A semis. Early on for the Raiders, the ODU football commit Tajay Brody there to clean up for his teammate. Shamrocks respond with a tough drive and finish Julian Gabadon. Students pumped for that, but it's not enough as Middletown too tough on the boards. Tate Leach gets the fall away off the putback. Raiders on the board one more time as it's Tyson Leach for two. They advance to the 4A finals, 63-49. I'm Todd Sadowski, arguably the wildest night of hoops we've had in the district in a long time. Let's get back to it with more from the boys' brackets. Buckle up for this one. Hershey at top seed, Lamb Peter Strasburg. We skip a great fourth because we got to go to overtime. Under a minute left in the extra session. Hershey down three. Matt Didonata smooth from the top of the key, ties it at 64. Second OT. Didonatus does it again, buries it, and the Trojans smell upset. They're up three, under a minute. LS goes to Ty Burton off the dribble, gets the roll, 35 points of the night. We head to overtime, number three tied at 76. Triple overtime after a Burton three for the lead. Berkeley Wagner, pump fake and drive for two, seals the game. Students storm the court, 87-82. LS wins a wild one. It was, it was a game of ups and downs. You know, we were up, they were up. We hit a three, they hit a three. It was. Uh, it was an electric game for sure. It's got to be the best game I've ever been involved in as far as a coach. And give all the credit to Hershey. They're a great basketball team. LS stays undefeated. So who will the Pioneers face in the title game? And the other 5A semi, well, it also needs triple overtime. West York and White at home against Shippensburg. Bulldogs Jim on fire. Braden Detz, huge triple to end third quarter. The place is jumping. This is the end of the first OT. Third tip is the charm from A.J. Williams. Again, it sparks the Bulldogs crowd. Shippensburg remains steady, though. Senior guard Jaden Statham. His dislocated shoulders pop back in place, and he's in the lineup to drill a clutch jumper in the third overtime. Final seconds. The shot is off the mark. Anthony Smith tears down the rebound, and the clock runs out. Greyhounds prevail in a tough road environment, 51-49. I don't imagine it. I don't want to repeat it. Uh, you know, our kids played with a lot of heart, and so did West York. I mean, that was a hard-fought battle. It could have gone either way. Man, I love those guys. They really just, we went out there and fought. We went there and fought, and we had the support of the whole community. Our school was here. It, it, it was great. Ship and LS in the 5A final could be a great one. Back to class 4A. Littlestown on the road at the top seed, Burks Catholic. Early on, the Saints come up with the steal, and they're going to head down the other way. It's going to be Aiden Sands as the Thunderbolts turn it over. And at the very other side, he throws it down for the jam. Ten points for Sands. Burks Catholic up by five after one. Second quarter, they go ahead and widen the advantage. J.J. Jordan slices through the defense and scores. Had a game-high 21 points. The Saints go on a 15-4 run. They're up by 10 at the break. And in the second half, they put it away. Littlestown simply just can't get the job done against the top seed. They're pretty tough. The Saints never trail. They win it 58-46. They'll face Middletown for the 4A crown. Always exciting when you can say this phrase to describe the end of a game. Buzzer beater to win it. That's how the game ends at Cedarcliff as they host Central Dolphin and the girls 6A semifinals. An absolute barn burner in this one. 25-0 Cedarcliff against Central Dolphin. Pick it up in the fourth. The Colts up one. Ryan Kircher makes it three with this drive and finish. Central Dolphin responds with Caroline Sheary. She cannot be stopped down low. Cuts it to one. Ten seconds left now. Tied at 38. Cedarcliff last possession to keep their historic season alive. Kircher misses. CD on the rebound. And Megan Cavoli... You guessed it, the prayer is answered off the glass from half court. She drains it as the, at the buzzer as the crowd goes ballistic. CD with a miracle knocks off Cedar Cliff, 41-38. Well, they're just such a great team and we knew it was gonna be hard. And I think we just, they have so many pieces and I think we've really worked well together on defense and offense. And honestly, I was scared. Like I just saw everybody, I was scared. Uh, Cavoli, understandably, can barely put what just happened into words. The Rams are in the finals on Thursday. And we end the night with a double overtime game. Cumberland Valley at Dallas Town. This is all first quarter action. We have not enough bodies to be at, at the end of all these overtime games. Trishel Guy for D-Town. Off the glass and in. And then Praise Matthews for the Wildcats is going to score. Not very high scoring in the first quarter. Just 11 points, 9 for Dallas Town. So the Eagles get their only two coming up right here from Sanai Hill as she cleans the offensive glass. Again, they only score two in the first quarter, but they go on to win a tough double overtime contest on the road, 58-51. That's